All right, so we're talking to you guys today about how to catch crappie during the heat of the summer. And by heat, I mean it's 100 degrees in most parts of the country. We're fishing right here during the peak of the day. We're coming after crappie, showing you guys how to do it even when most people have really hung up their crappie gear for the year. So no matter where you are, hopefully you guys are gonna join us today. Eric Kegel is gonna show you some of his tricks to catching crappie and loading the boat even during times when most people are not fishing. Now we're in the south today. You can figure out where we are by what I'm wearing. As you guys know, I got gear from just about everywhere. Been just about everywhere with Posky Outdoors. Today, we're at one of the top places to catch crappie in the country, showing you techniques that you can use anywhere. There you go. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, he's rambling. On oh, cue, come on. Oh, it's a monster. Right and that was not even staged. God. What? Got him. Look at that big joker right there. I don't care where you go, been all around the country. That's a big fish anywhere. We got a little fish around these little head of timber here. It's, it's gonna be tough to kind of work it down to them. I'm gonna pitch this old jig in there and see if I can let it go down and uh, come by him, see if I can get him to come out of there a little bit where it ain't quite so tough to, to get to him, see if I can make him move a little bit. There he comes. Ooh, crushed it, <laughs> crushed it. Sometimes you just gotta move a little bit. Look at yonder, look at yonder. Oh yeah. I just worked, you know, uh, I just worked around that tree. I saw the fish on this side, but I, I couldn't see him from the side, so we just kept working around the tree till, so, you know, got a, got a jig to where he could see it. And that's the result. Hey guys, Eric Kegel, CNM Guide Service. We're out here fishing. You can see I'm sweating. It's hot. I mean, it is hot today. The water temperature is 89, 90 degrees. Uh, you know, you can come out here and catch fish in the summer uh, pretty much anywhere. You, you just got to have the right bait and uh, the right presentation on these fish. We're out here today doing a little live scope fishing, which means I'm pretty much taking that live scope. It's kind of the newest, hottest thing out. And we're scanning these waters until we find fish and some of them are around timber and some of them are just scattered in open water uh, and we're just presenting a jig to those fish and seeing if we can get those finicky you know fish to come up and hit all right we got to get just a little closer to him See is him that the there? fish right there yeah that's a fish all right guys so you watching heat of the summer There's sweltering it. heat the jig is going to come right down on him let's see if we can coerce him into feeding a little bit He's there chasing he it, he's chasing it. Oh, look at that. Just like that. <clears throat> That's oh, exactly yeah. how it's done here in the heat of the summer. Crappie fishing. Look at that. Water temperature is 89 degrees. That's right, it shows you can catch crappie any time of year if you got the right bait and you know where to find them. We're gonna drop down on him again. See if he wants to come up and eat. You're looking in the same spot as last time. Uh oh, there he comes. Oh, look at that. Second time, Ooh. we got him. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> the ball to get knocked off? Yeah, he swallowed it. He swallowed the crappie fireball. He, he knocked it down though. Look at that. Just another beautiful slab, pure crappie fishing in 90 degree water. Uh, we are using a, a few extra things today. Uh, I'm gonna show you here what we're using. That's my setup there. That's a muddy water bait. That's a uh, Grenade Lake Tackle Company jig head, one eighth ounce. And these are Potsky's Fireballs, which are, are giving us extra scent on, on these baits. And you know, sometimes in the summer, the, the, the bite on certain lakes, the bite's not real hot, but you can still catch those fish. And you know, that's when I think scent comes into play the most, is when those fish aren't biting as well. I, I think that scent will get you a few extra bites, uh, you know, that you normally wouldn't get. But uh, the rod, I'm gonna just kind of walk through what we're using today. The rod is an HH. This is actually my signature series rod. HH rods and reels. Six foot dock, shoot, dock shooter slash casting rod. These rods are, are, are pretty much designed to, to shoot docks and do what we're doing today to cast on these fish and catch them. Uh, this rod weighs three ounces. This thing weighs 3.1 ounces uh, with no reel on it. Uh, it's got the uh, microwave eyelets on it. It's got the Tennessee, what I call the Tennessee cork handle uh, with adjustable reel seat. You can adjust that reel up or down, you know, 
depending upon how big a reel you like to use. Some people like a small one, some people like a, a big reel, and you, you, this rod will, will hold either one. Uh, the line today, and this is a, a very important part of what we do casting, this is six pound K9 high vis line. And you know, in Alabama, I fish a lot of clear water lakes, and they cannot see a high vis line. I can go ahead and tell you. It just, I mean, there's a lot of them been in my live well that, that, that will tell you they can't see it. But uh, this this K9 line, this line here has been on my rod for over over a week. I've been guiding every day. It's been on there for over a week. I can pitch that rod out. There is no memory, none. I mean, there's no memory in that line at all whatsoever. And that makes a big difference when you're trying to cast on those fish, that that line be smooth, and, and that's why I use it. All right, so watch those two on the bottom corner, right down there. Keep an eye on what he's doing. We're, we're hoping that they're gonna come up and eat this jig tip with a crappie fireball. Let's see where they're gonna go. They're moving a little bit. They're moving fast. There we go, we got them now. Look for his, see his bait right above them falling down, and right on the fish's head. There he comes. Oh, look at that. He crushed it. You saw it. <clears throat> and that's another monster. My gosh. What a slab. This is, this is unreal. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Good bait, good scent, and look what came to the boat. Begging. All right. Follow the middle of the screen. There it is. You can see his jig coming down. Right on top of the fish's head. And will he move up to get it? Yes, he will. Like a video game. Ooh, he came up and grabbed it live here in the summer months. Oh. Bam. This is almost, it's almost like watching TV. <laughs> it's more exciting than Major League Baseball, folks. Just to, just to give you an idea of, of kind of what we're looking for uh, out here, uh, we, we, did, we did some filming this morning also, and those fish were kind of shallow this morning, you know, and it seems like in the mornings they've been up, the, the lake we're fishing today, those fish are shallow in the mornings, and as the day goes on and the sun comes out, they go a little bit deeper. Um, we're catching some fish two to three foot uh, under the uh, surface this morning. This afternoon, uh, a lot of these fish are 12 to 15 foot deep, you know, down down toward the bottom. And uh, that's just because they're, they're going deeper during the day. And that's another thing that this this new technology, the, the live scope helps you with, is you get to see kind of where those fish are moving to, uh, and, and, and that helps you target them. Ooh, look at oh that. We think it's a nice one too. Oh yeah. God, what a fish. Good you Lord. Caught, you caught a rag and a fish at the same time. That is a beast, son. Oh my gosh. Look at that, look at that. Good oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. sometimes, sometimes you just gotta keep, keep putting on that fish until he moves because you know, sometimes it may look like to you it's on that fish, but it might be a foot or so to the left or right, and you can't you can't really tell. There he comes. Look, there he comes. He's coming up at it. Oh, he look at that! It. God, what a fish! That's a big one. Imagine if we gave up. <sighs> Another Lord slab. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, that's the most fun you can have with your clothes on, y'all. That's a fact. Remember that. There we go. Lord, how mercy. Guys, summertime slabbing. That's what it's all about. Got a little present for y'all as usual. Bam! It doesn't get much better than that. Summer crappie fishing isn't for everybody. And as you'll see in this episode of Potsky Outdoors, it was for us. Why we're willing to contend with the heat. A lot of people stop fishing in the spring simply because it gets too hot and unbearable for them to stand out here in the middle of the day and catch fish. Luckily, Eric Kegel of CNM Guide Service took us out here for two hours in the evening to show us how to catch crappie during the summer months. As you can see, it was pretty standard here. We didn't bring minnows. All we used were jigs tipped with Potsky's new crappie fireballs. And we had one heck of a time here, mostly fishing flooded timber and just flooded structure here in the middle of the summer when a lot of the larger crappie go down and find deeper, cooler water. You can watch and see how we did it today. Apply it to your fishing anywhere you fish for crappie in North America and find success just like we did.
Kotsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.